table tennis, an indoor adaptation of the game lawn tennis played on the table size court with a small, very light, hollow celluloid ball and small wooden rackets or paddles. Like any other sports, it is an educational process demanding psychological and physiological attributes. Table tennis is now one of the most popular racket sports, possibly because all players of all ages can participate in a game which can be played all year round in almost any room which is large enough placed a table tennis table. Table tennis is a ball and racket type of sports. It is an exemplary game of skill requiring remarkable hand-eye coordination by the players. It was used to be the sports of the aristocrats and people of higher society in Victorian era, England, playing in a tennis field as a leisure sport. Table tennis, on the other hand, is a makeshift version of the sports tennis by the British military officers posted in India. David Foster invented the game table tennis in the late 1880s. Ping pong is another name for table tennis. International Table Tennis Federation or ITTF is the governing body of the competitive table tennis worldwide and was formed on January 16, 1926 with the representatives from Austria, England, Germany, and Hungary. 1988 is the year when the table tennis has been an Olympic sport. The following are the basic terminologies in table tennis. Backspin. Backward spin plays on the ball, also called underspin. Blade. It is a wooden part of paddles or bat. Chop. Forces the ball to drop downwards when it hits an opponent's paddle. Dead. A ball without any spin. Drive. The basic top spin shots executed close to the table, also called as a counter, counter drive, or smash. Game. It is also called a set. Each game is played to 11 points unless a deuce occurs. Kill. A put away shot. Ball is hit with enough speed so that opponent cannot make a return. Let. Service ball hitting the net or a distraction that causes the point played over. Rally. The period in which the ball is in play. Received. The return of a serve. Serve. The first shot done by the server. It begins with the ball being thrown up from palm of the hand and struck by the racket. Smash. A put-away shot, ball is hit with enough speed so the opponent cannot make a return. Stroke, any shot used in the game, including the serve, is called stroke. Top spin, a spin placed on the ball to allow it to curve down onto the table. Umpire, an official who keeps score and enforces rules during a match. There are two ways of holding the racket of the table tennis. As you can see on the picture, we have the standard, or the handshake grip, and the pen hold grip. First, we will teach you how to hold the racket with the different types of grips. Shake hand or western grip. This grip is the most common type of grip used nowadays because you can use both the forehand and backhand strokes. This grip was popularized by Western people and in Europe. It is just like shaking hands with a person. Hold the racket by wrapping the handle of the racket with the palm and the three fingers of your hand. 
The index finger rests on one surface of the racket, which is the backhand side, and the thumb rests on the opposite side of the racket, which is the forehand side. Pen hold or oriental grip. This grip is mostly used by oriental players from China, Japan, and Korea. It is similar to holding the racket like a pen, where the thumb and index fingers are the ones wrapped around the handle of the pen hold racket. The other three fingers are rested on one surface of the racket. Traditionally, only one surface of the racket is used to hit the ball both for forehand and backhand. Today, the other surface of the racket is used for backhand to produce more power. Table tennis can be played by either two players or single event, or by four players or double event. Controlling the ball is an essential skill in playing the sport. By practicing this kind of sports, players develop much on their speed, body coordination, and reaction time. Footwork in table tennis is not entirely automated. Players, both amateur and professionals, were not used technically perfect footwork during a rally. Things are not that simple for the opponent trying to put the ball into awkward locations if his stances and footwork develop correctly. For the ready position, feet should be slightly further apart than shoulder width to have a solid base, as you can see on the picture. The pre-arm is used for balance with your shoulders forward. Weight should be on the toes. Racket needs to be in a neutral position to play, whether a backhand or a forehand stroke. In table tennis, good footwork is essential for it enables players to quickly reach the ball, return the ball to the opponent's court, put pressure on the opponent, and more significantly, play a variety of strokes. This is how to execute the correct readiness stance. Keep both feet apart, slightly wider than the shoulder width. For right-handers, stand with your left foot in front and the right foot at the back in a side stance more on the left side of the table. For left-handers, the stance should be opposite from the right-handers. Stand at least one to one-half feet away from the end lines of the table. Place your upper body on a crouch program. Bend your knees and slightly stand on your toes. Keep both the racket hand and free hand above the level of the table with your elbows bent at a right angle. Always focus on the ball when your opponent strikes the ball to your court. Hi, I'm Alois Strozero from Ping Skills. And I'm Jeff Plum, and today we're going to talk about basic footwork. In table tennis, most of your movement is sideways, so it's really important to get that movement correct. Some basic things that you need to think about are making sure that you're down nice and low in your basic ready position. Once you're in that ready position, it's a matter of moving sideways with either a little bit of a jump or a shuffle. The easiest way to learn the basic footwork is to do it nice and slowly and one ball at a time. So I'm gonna feed the ball out one at a time to Jeff. So we start with hit, Jump, hit, jump into position, and hit. And I'm catching the ball each time to give Jeff plenty of time to get the movement correct. Once you feel like your movement's correct, then you can start to hit the ball continuously. So it's a hit and jump. Hit and jump, hit and jump, hit and jump, hit and jump. During a rally in table tennis, most often you have to move sideways. Side-to-side -side footwork is moving to the left and right with a quick side-to-side -side shuffling steps. There are many times when you have to cover a wider area for returning a ball. At that time, your side-to-side -side footwork is not enough. Crossover footwork is useful in this moment to cover a large distance quickly.